What's going on everyone? We're back at the gym to crush a workout. Uh, I'm going through shoulders today. I'm gonna show you how to do these exercises so you can get big boulder shoulders. I know I don't have big boulder shoulders yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working really hard in the gym, trying to get bigger. Right now, when I'm not in the gym, my biggest uh, priority is my food. I've been really working hard on trying to gain weight and just keep moving up in the weight numbers. Right now I'm at 130. I would like to be around 150 next December, or this coming December. Uh, I want to be 150 for my junior year of wrestling. Uh, I'll be nice and big and I'll hopefully I'll destroy the competition. But today I'm walking you through shoulders. We're gonna also hit chest and we're gonna hit triceps. All right, so let's get into the workout. Well, that didn't go as I planned. I got seven and a half. <sighs> oh well. Well, I know what I need to work on now. I just gotta really try and keep working until I get to 10 to 12 reps. So I gotta keep sticking with the 36 pounders until I get there. And after I hit like 12 reps, I'm gonna go up to the next one, which I think is 44 pounds. So on to the next exercise. All right, so sorry about that last part. I forgot to turn the microphone on. Life of being a YouTuber. Also, what I was saying was that the gym is moving locations and I'm gonna document that. I'm gonna film the move. I, I hear that we're moving to a way bigger spot. I have yet to see the place and I'm really looking forward to being there. Get to make more videos in a different location. So a lot's coming. This is just the beginning. I want to show you guys my starting point. I want to own my own training facility when I'm older. I want to 
be a professional bodybuilder. I want to get on stage and I want to kick some butt. And the only way I'm going to go is if by starting. I've been at this gym for five years now. Well, almost five years. I started here in May of 2016. And then, so five years will be this May. So I can't believe I've been here this long. I can't believe I've been sticking with this, putting in the grind and the work. But I truly love working out. I truly love putting in the grind. And I'm just going to keep getting better. This is just the start. I have a long ways to go. And I hope you're all there when I show you my whole entire journey. Alright, so now the next exercise is machine lateral raises. Uh, these are ones that I think are better than using dumbbells. You're more controlled. You're not flinging all over the place. You're sitting there and you're not using your legs to help you at all. It's just your shoulders. Now, a thing that I just learned from Joe the other day was I used to I used to go like this and have two points of contact. I used to have two points of contact, but now what you're supposed to do, keep your arm straight like that, and when you come up, you're like that. You don't want to be like this because it's making it easier for yourself. So you want you want everything to be as hard as you can in order to guarantee that you're working hard and getting that muscle growth that you want. So. I'm going with 30 pounds and oh one more thing about the form when you have your arm down like that and you're in a double squeeze you go up and you go up again oh, that absolutely kills your shoulders so I recommend all of you to try it let me know how you feel it in the comments below now I have nowhere to put the camera for this so I need help you know what that means Alright everyone, the last shoulder exercise uh, before we move on to the chest portion of the workout is uh, seated face pulls.
Alright, so now that we're in the chest portion of the workout, the first exercise being flies, these ones you really want to control the negative so that you're not uncontrollably bringing the weight down, which could cause an injury. You could possibly tear your uh, pec muscle. Uh, right now, we're squeezing at the top, really trying to focus on the negative. You want to go nice and slow on the way down so that you don't have any injuries uh, happen. You want to be as safe as you can with this machine. I'm going for 10 to 12 reps. You can see up that how many work I'm going to get. So I didn't get my 10 that I wanted to. I got around seven and a half to eight. The next check exercise on the list is flat bench fat bell presses. This is another one where I'm using the fat bells instead of the dumbbells to get more range of motion so I don't have that big block at the end of a dumbbell stopping me. With a fat bell, like I said earlier, you're able to get a lot more range of motion. All right, so the last chest exercise today before we move into the triceps is the standing flat bench. We're, we're using the neutral grip. Uh, this is a machine that you wanna be very careful on because if you don't know how to do this the right way, you could accidentally go too far and you could possibly tear your pec, but that is not something that you want to happen. So I'm gonna walk you through on how to do it. Uh, this is a exercise that Joe just started having me do and I've really enjoyed it so far. It's been a couple weeks and I'm just really happy that he put me on this exercise. So I'm going to just walk you through how to do it. What you're going to do for me, I'm supposed to have neutral grip so it's right here. What you're going to do, you're going to push forward until this little thing right here falls, which holds the weight. When that falls, it is all in your own hands right now. So what you're going to do, you're going to go forward just a little bit. And you hear that noise, that means it's unloaded. And then you're gonna go all the way down. You're gonna get that full stretch. You're gonna pause. And that's one. And then when you're done, you're gonna put your heel against there, just like that. Lift it up and put it down. Alright, so now I'm gonna do my set.
really takes a lot out of you. Alright everyone, so the first exercise for the tricep is this uh, tricep press down, freezing the three tier tricep blast here. Is that my coach Joe said that I should start lifting up one foot just a hair off the ground because he said when one foot is on when your lower half is unstable your top part will do everything the same so that it stays stable so when you have one foot up and you're doing the tricep press down on one foot you can feel it in you can feel it the same as in each tricep which I thought was pretty cool so give it a try and leave it in the comments below what you think of it Alright everyone, last exercise on the list today, uh, the final tricep exercise is the seated overhead tricep extension and with this, it's pretty self explanatory, you just pick it up, you put it over your head, you sit down, you just go right up. Uh, you want to try and keep your elbows as tucked in as possible in order to really feel your tricep, make sure you're squeezing at the top. Alright, I am very tired, it's late. I'm going to do the set and I'm getting the heck out of here. Alright, so that's a wrap. That's a sandwich joke, if you didn't catch it. Uh, I showed you through, I, I walked you through my shoulder, chest, and tricep workout, which is my push workout. The other push workout that I have is a chest day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all learned something from this. Because uh, if you did learn something, I'm doing my part right. I really enjoy doing this videos, and I keep wanting to bring, I want, I keep wanting to, I keep wanting to bring you guys this kind of content. I, this is what I love to do. Besides making comic book videos, I love coming to the gym, training, and now I love making videos for all of you. So before you all leave, just hit the subscribe, hit the like, and hit the notification bell. The next video is the move of Lightning Fitness. I hope you guys like that one. Catch you in the next one.